Inspired Nicole, the Honourable Member for Chifley. Thanks, uh, Mr Deputy Speaker. It uh, gives me a great pleasure to actually bring to the House's attention a fantastic idea uh, that will make a difference to the lives of many. Uh, and it's been brought up by a young man who um, uh, is from the Chifley electorate, who has an idea to help boost the independence of vision-impaired Australians. Now, uh, Connor McLeod uh, from Oakhurst in Chifley uh, has come up with this idea, and I saw it uh, in our local paper, the St Mary's Mount Druid Star. Kylie Stevens wrote about uh, his idea and, um, and the campaign that he and his mum are starting to kick off, uh, which I think will, uh, as I said before, uh, help the lives of many vision-impaired Australians. Now, Connor himself is vision impaired and he started high school this year. And in the uh, Star, it talks about the fact that he's uh, confronted with the challenge that he can only make any of his purchases at school, for example, going to the canteen, using coins. Because for this very simple reason, if any of us were to close our eyes and then try and distinguish between notes, it would be hard for us to do. In Australia, we do not have tactile banknotes that allow vision impaired people to be able to differentiate uh, between different notes. And so what he's, he and his mum have been calling for, uh, his mum, uh, Ali uh, Lancaster, uh, are starting a campaign. They've started a Facebook uh, page and uh, have already got uh, 1,200 to 1,500 uh, supporters uh, who've signed a petition to try and get the Reserve Bank of Australia to actually uh, do something to this. Uh, and I quote Ali, it means nothing to me, but it would mean a lot to my son. Uh, it would lot like to my son and the other 300,000 visually impaired people across Australia. That figure is expected to double within 10 years. Connor is fine with coins, but notes completely do his head in. He's a bright boy, but we have a system that's ineffective and inequitable. And so uh, she has started this campaign to her credit. And Connor uh, says that the markings would make a big difference in his life. Uh, to quote him, he said, I don't always have someone around to help me. I'm already independent, but tactile markings would make me more confident. It would also make other vision impaired people more independent. Now, I mentioned that they're on Facebook. It's facebook.com backslash tactile banknotes Australia. And uh, the important point to bear in mind too is that this is not a change that would be hard to do. The Reserve Bank of Australia could do this. And the reason why is because they're already using this note technology to print tactile notes for Chile, Mexico and Thailand, yet we don't do this here. And so uh, uh, certainly um, uh, Ali Lancaster has said that while she applauds the fact that the RBA might be able to do something that's not doing enough and that they should be, when they're updating their notes, addressing this. The RBA Governor Glenn Stevens appears before the Economics Committee later this week and I look forward to taking up uh, Connor's case with him because I think it's a case that's worth pursuing.